Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today I want to show you how to make your corset directly from your fabric using your bra cups. So if you're new to this channel, I say a very big welcome to you. Join this wonderful family by subscribing. It is free. Just hit on the subscribe button and turn on the bell beside it so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be among those that will be notified. Thank you for doing that. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So I have my bra cups here. This is a DIY bra cup. That is, I did it myself. And I have a video on this channel on how I did this. So in case you haven't watched it and you would like to watch it, I will leave the link to the video in the description box below. So do check it out. So whether it is a DIY cup or a store bought cup, it is still the same method. Okay, whatever I'll be showing you here, you can use either DIY or store bought cup. It's the same thing. So now, when you buy your cup, make sure the cup is two inches bigger than the actual bust size okay for example if your boss circumference is 36 it's better to go for boss cup of 38 and above depending on what you want yes depending on what you want if you want it really covered you can go for like two inches to four inches bigger in this case the boss circumference is 36 but i'm using cup 38 okay so you'll be wondering how i got to know about the size yes if you watch the video on how I made this, you understand how I got the sizes, okay? So I use the upper boss point, the boss point, and the under boss point of someone that has boss 38, okay? So the video will explain better when you watch it. I'll leave the link in the description box. So now let's just go straight ahead to draft our parts and our corset. So I have my fabric here. It's a velvet fabric, so I ironed interfacing to read just to make it fair so you can even do without the interfacing so the first thing to do is mark out your starting point if your fabric is not even at the top okay so it's good to have an even edge so mark out the starting point so i'll just draw a line at the top here at my starting point so when you have done this you then mark half inch on this side just mark your half inch to the point or length of the top so marking hard so i can see the marks okay so by the time you have marked out your half inch, you mark it very well. So by the time you have marked out your half inch, now you pick your cup. So looking at my cup, this is the lower part and this is the top part, okay? So I'll just place it like this, the edge at this starting point. That is after this half inch mark, you place the edge of your cup there and this other edge touching this side now there are curves that look very very flat for you for you to create room in the cup side to accommodate the boss most especially uh, most especially if you are using a cup that is bigger than your boss what you simply do is fold the cup into two determine the midpoint and you stitch okay so you do that from inside so you just like creating a dart on your cup so you just create your dart so you just see by half inch to the midpoint of the cup okay so by so doing you have a cup that is deep okay so in this case i'm not stitching it instead what i'll do is just to draw it close so i'll just place it here and i'll pull it a little bit so how do you know how deep or how much to pull you can use your boss pan for a guide so you can just place your boss pan okay so in this case boss pan, boss pan is four inches so you use your boss pan as a guide so your your cup should lie the, the midpoint of your cup should lie around the the boss pan okay so that would be a guide on how you can pull the cup so by the time you place like this and you see that it's flat so just pull it a bit okay by the time you pull it a bit and you see the midpoint of your cup going around the boss pan you know that it is okay 
so in this case it is okay for me like this so when i have done this the next thing is to mark okay so just make sure you position your cup very well so this is okay i hope you are seeing this okay so the edges of your cup should touch your starting line like so so by the time you have done this you now mark it so you just mark don't press your cup too hard so that you do not end up having a shape that is not okay so let me just remove the cup and mark so i like to place it again to see okay so it's okay i have it going well so you just mark it okay so this is the shape i hope you can see this so let me mark it hard so that you can see it so this is it so when you have done this wherever you have this that will be where you place your under post okay so you can even measure it with the cup so by the time you place your cup you can now take that point where your cup the, the lower part of your cup ended as your underbust point. Okay, so that part should be your underbust point. Okay, so you can just place it. Like in this case, the underbust point is 14 inches. That is where you should mark as your underbust point, wherever your cup ends. Okay, so from there now, you place other vertical measurements. So the half length here is 18 inches, but I'll mark at 19 because we'll be joining this to the lower part so you need allowance okay or well, i will take 20 let me take 20 then i can always trim out the excess later on so here is the uh, under boss point so you can move your cup and draw your line so to be to have a nice line you can just measure what you have here so i have 10 inches here so i will repeat the point and draw my straight line this is my half length then i'll also mark here this is the under bust okay this is the under bust i don't draw the line So I have it okay so by the time you have done this now you come in here and mark half inch okay so the half inch is the allowance you need for joining the cup to the bodies so because if you cut it this way it will be wide so you have to um, come in by half inch round okay so you can actually measure it or you eyeball it so to always be accurate you can just measure okay so just go in by half inch all round and this will help your cup sit nicely by the time you stitch it so just connect So this is what I have. So having done this, the next thing is to place your bust circumference. That is to place your horizontal measurement. So you place your bust circumference without the cup. So you move the cup. Then you place your bust circumference divided by four. So in this case, it is nine inches. And you measure from this point. Okay, you measure from this edge of the fabric. So I'll mark the nine inches. And I'll add two inches seam allowance. Okay, so from this two inches seam allowance, I'll be turning with lining. So by the time you have done this, step down by half inch. Just step down by half inch at this point and connect it back to this point. Okay, so you just connect it to this point. So don't mind my short ruler. Okay, and you have it there. Just half inch slant. You connect then at the then at the waist or the half length i'll place the waist circumference there or whatever you have as your 
round half length, you place it. So in this case, it is 8.25. That is after dividing by 4. I have 8.25. Then I'll add 2 inches seam allowance. So here I'm not adding that because the reason for that is to have to create our room. That is to create the room for our bust. So since our cup has already created that room, there's no need for that. So I'm not adding any that. All I'll do is just to connect from this point to this point. Okay. So this is simply what you need. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I just cut it this way before cutting the cup. I want to cut, I will use this to cut the back before I'll then cut out the cup, okay? So you place the front like this on the back and you cut out, making allowance for your zipper, okay? So you have to add your zipper allowance. So in this case, I don't have zipper allowance. I will make provision for that later, okay? So I'm just making do with the fabric I have. So I'll just cut it. Just use your front like this to cut the back creating your zipper allowance if you're going to use zipper. So after cutting the back, now I can open up the space for the cup, okay? So don't forget you cut this one. That's what we have here. So by the time you place your cup and you stitch, you see it sitting nicely, okay? And there'll be enough room for the bust. So you can see how beautiful it is. So now I'll use this to cut the lining, okay? So I have cut the lining for it, as you can see. Then I have this lace I want to use for it, okay? So I actually used velvet as the under um fabric for the lace because i would cover the cup with velvet so i didn't want to use satin under this lace because it will be different the, the 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 look will be different under the lace okay to be different from the cup so that is why i decided to use velvet as the underlay for the for the lace okay so this is actually how it would look so this is actually what I want. So you can see the way I cut the lace. I just arranged the velvet in such a way that the design will come out like this. Okay. So the cup will be covered with velvet. Okay. The cup will be covered with velvet and will be here. Then I will design the cup with something from the lace. Okay. So just have a design on the cup like so to match up with the lace part so that is why i actually used velvet on that because some of you might be wondering why velvet why not satin or some other thing so that is the reason so that by the time i place the velvet on the cup it will not have a different look so now we'll move over to covering the cup and uh, i have a detailed video on how to cover your bra cup with fabric so i might skip a lot because i don't want this video to be too long i've already taught that in a previous video so let me just briefly show you what i want to do here so i've cut out the fabric i need for covering the cup so i really explained this in the video i made but just to hurry up here i measured what i have here that is the length then i measured what i have here that is the width, okay, plus extra. You just add extra, okay. Just like this, very, very, that's why I didn't add too much. It's stretchy, okay. So, but when you're using a fabric that is not stretchy, please add at least one to two inches. It's better for it to be, you know, to have it um, extra. Then after covering, you trim out down for it not to be enough, okay. So, it's better you have enough to be able to cover the cup very well. Usually did that way and cut out the velvet. So now that I've cut out my velvet, what I'll do now, I'll just align this edge together. So I'll just align this edge, okay? That is, you see that this is the width length, the width side. 
so you just align it like so then i'll mark one inch i'll mark one inch down one inch here so i'll just find the midpoint though they are not um equal the two fabric are not equal i'll just make sure whatever i have find the midpoint so just find the midpoint and connect so i just want to like make a cup so i'll be able to cover this so just watch the other video i made everything will be very clear to you okay so i'll leave the link in the description box so i'll just go ahead now and stitch like this by the time i stitch like this i'll then use it to cover up the cup okay so i have stitched it like i explained so now i'll just place my cup so I really explained it very clearly in that video, okay? How you should place your cup and all that. So I'll go ahead and cover this cup and I'll show you. So to do that, I'll just place it and I'll hold it with my pin all around. I'll just pin it down here, okay? So in the video I made on how to cover your bra cup, I used store bought cup. But here I'm using my DIY cup, okay? So... I'll just align it so with this now I already have a demarcation for my cup so by the time I pin it down I will just start pinning all the edges you can see how beautiful it's already looking so and as I as I pin I will just pull it so that everything will be smooth So I know I have excess fabric, but it's okay. It's better to have excess than shortage. So by the time I, I'm done, I will trim it out. So now that I've pinned it down, I'll go ahead and stitch by quarter of an inch, okay? I'll stitch it by quarter of an inch, then I'll trim out the excess. So as I stitch, I'll move my pin, just go around, then I'll trim out the excess, okay? So I've sewn the cup, as you can see. So I stitched by quarter of an inch. So the light is bright. I don't know if you can see this. So now I will just trim out the excess, okay? So I will trim out the excess. And I forgot to tell you, the same way you cut um, the fabric for covering the cup, you also cut lining for it, okay? You also um, cut your lining and stitch it the same way. So I'm using satin, okay? I would have used the same velvet, but I don't have extra velvet so i'll be using satin to cover up the inside that i'll be using it as a lining so what i'll do now is just cut out the excess so it's better you cut from inside the inside you see the cup so after cutting it this is what i have you can see how beautiful it's looking okay so you can see our diy cup and well covered okay so now i would use the lining to cover the inside and we'll stitch it here okay go ahead and stitch it so it's already looking beautiful so by the time i stitch it i'll then embellish it so whichever way i want i'll go ahead and embellish it so for the lining you just place it at the good side that is right side facing each other like so and you go ahead and hold it with pin just repeat the same thing you did for the main fabric then you always stitch the top okay just hold it with pin but you this time around you stitch at the top alone then you turn to the other side and uh, 
you stitch round and trim so if you want to know exactly how to do it well just watch the other video i made so i'll be leaving the link for you there in the description box so i'll just go ahead and do everything then stitch it to the space we have here okay so i've covered the bracket up properly and the uh, this is the lining as you can see so i make sure i have enough room inside to accommodate the bust so this is it okay so having done this now i would put the cup aside and now i will turn the corset with the lining so i just place the lining on the right side of the top like so then i'll be stitching this center this side this side and the side i'll leave this opening okay so i'll just stitch like so so by the time I, I do that i'll turn to the other side and stitch the cup okay so let me do just that so i've turned it with lining as you can see okay so this is what i have now i would bring my cups and place the cups okay so i'll just place them accordingly like so so to place my cup what i'll simply do is just to use pin to hold it okay then i'll go to my sewing machine and stitch so i'll pin it down so i'll just like working with my pin then you stitch by half inch so you pin this side then you also pin this side then you now arrange the remaining um the the, the space you now arrange them very well to align So by the time you have pinned the two sides, just carefully align. You can even fold the cup to get the midpoint, fold the bodies to get the midpoint, okay? Then you also fix them together and you align the remaining parts. You can see what I have. So just align it and everything will sit well. Then you stitch by the half inch. So this is it. I've just had it with pin. So that's why it is rough. By the time I stitch it, it will be smooth, okay? So I'll just go ahead and stitch by half inch and everything will last well. Then I'll do the same for this other one. Then after that, I will use bias tape to finish this and uh, the inner part. Okay, so I'll use bias tape to close up this side. So I'm not using boning for this one. Okay, so just a simple corset. I'm not using boning, but I have a video where I used boning for my corset. Okay, so I'll drop the link in the description box so that I can check it out. Sorry for the dog sound in the background let's go ahead and stitch up everything and we'll have our corset so i've joined the cup as you can see okay so at the inside i'll just use bias tape to finish up this part so i'll do that later so now it's just to join the lower parts which i've already prepared so i'll join the lower parts and then uh, that will be it okay then this is the back I've already sewn the back. So I'll go ahead and just stitch everything together and you see the final look of the corset, okay? Though I just made it like this for the purpose of this tutorial, but I'm not going to wear it like this. I'm still going to add sleeve and maybe yoke and some other things. So I'll, I might be making another video to show you how to do that in case you want to add sleeve to your corset i already have a video on that how to add sleeve to your corset but this time around depending on what i want to do i might be adding yoke or sleeve again whichever one so whichever one i'll be doing i'll be showing you the video on that but in this video it just show you how to use your um boss cup for corset as requested by many of you okay so let me go or um let me go and finish up everything then you see the final look of this Okay.
And here it is. Hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, just hit on the subscribe button below this video and also turn on the bell beside it so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be among those that will be notified. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Remain blessed.